Hello, my name is Darren Thomas and I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, we're going to be doing a little bit of geometry and we're going to be looking at points, lines, rays, and line segments. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to begin with the point, or points if you will. And so this is very, very basic information, something you would teach, you know, a first day of class in geometry. So a point, something like this guy right here, that's a point if you will. It's like the smallest unit of measurement that you're gonna find in geometry. So some of the characteristic, characteristics of a point is no size. So, you know, no length or width. So no length, excuse me, no length or no width. Also, it has no dimensions, okay? Again, this will become more important later. And also, it only has position. So for example, if you're graphing something, you might say 0.34, that's a position. So a point can have position, but it does not have any kind of dimensions. It doesn't really take up space, if you will. And so if we wanna make a point, oftentimes we give it a letter, a capital letter. So if I put an A next to this, this will now be considered point A. That's kind of how it works. And these are the characteristics of a, of a point. Now, moving to our next idea here, we're going to talk about lines. So a line or lines in plural, if you will, this is where you have an infinite number of points all working together. So if I do, 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 like this, like this, like this, okay, that is making a line. It's a bunch of points, an infinite number of points, so we have a symbol for that. So this is infinity right here. So this is my line going right here. It is, it's just a bunch of points right next to each other, stacked up next to each other. And of course, they can be straight or curved, it doesn't matter. And what's unique about a line is that a line can now have a dimension. It has length. So it could be a short line, a long line, whatever. And that is, one, that is a difference between a point and a, a line. A line can have length, whereas a point has no dimensions. And when you stack up next to each other an infinite number of points, you can create a line. And of course, you can put points on a line. I hope that doesn't confuse you. So you can see right here, I have a point on the line. And here I have another point on the line. And so I can call this guy A and I can call this guy B. These are two points on the line. And when you have two points that are on the same line, we have a term for that in geometry called collinear. These are collinear, they're on the same line. That's kind of what's happening there. And it gets even more complicated when you're dealing with lines. So when you have arrows on both ends of a line, so for example, if I change this guy to like this, and I change him to like this, so let's see here, that's kind of ugly, but you get the point. When you have arrows at the end of both lines, that is a sign, that is an indication in mathematics that the line goes on forever. It just goes on for infinity. And you can also do even more interesting things with lines. So you can give a, a line a name as an example. So put my arrow here and my arrow here. And if I just put a letter like this, a lowercase m, this means that this is going to be called line m. It's just giving a name to it, if you will. But we can also call it something else. If we have points on the line, I'll just make a new example for you. So over here, if you look, that's a nice straight line. And uh, I put my points on here. So this is my A and this is my B again. We can call this thing many things. We can call it line AB. Notice how I'm using capitals this time. Line AB. We can also call it with this little symbol above it, like so. We can call it this. And we can also switch the order of the letters. So instead of calling it line AB, we can also call it line BA, or we can use this stuff down here below that you can see here, and we can call it line BA as well. These are all shorthand for the same thing, essentially, and that's how we do that. Now, we're gonna move now to talking about rays. So rays are a little bit more unique in that rays have, are, they're just like lines, if you will, but they have a specific start point, but then they go off forever in, for affinity. 
so Ray or Ray's, whatever you want to call them. And so here's the best way to look at this is to see an example. So I have my little, this is called my origin or my endpoint right here. And then I have my line go off and off forever and ever like that in that direction. And so I have to label my points obviously. So we'll just call this guy, change him colors here. We'll call this point A, in point A. And here's my next point B. Of course you can have more than two points, but I see that you're getting the point here. And this is array. Now, in other examples, we had an, an arrow going this way, meaning it goes off forever to the left as well. But that's not the case with array. Array has a specific beginning. And that beginning is called an endpoint, or it can be called an origin. That's how it is. And to write these out, you can use the following. You could say, use the arrow like this, going off in this direction. And we're just going to call this ray A, B. Notice again that we don't have the arrow off on the left-hand side. That's what's happening there. And you can also write it out using English, Ray A B. Notice the use of capital letters again. That's what's going on. So here goes another one, if you will. Now line segments. And so line segments is just a piece of a line. So it has it has it, it has two endpoints. So line segment or line segments, if you will. And so you have a finite piece of a line, which means that you could probably measure it. So to make this as simple as possible, you just have your lines like that, your line, and then you have your endpoints. So we'll call this guy B again, and then we have our endpoint over here, call this guy A, and this is a line segment. And so the shorthand for this would be, draw a line like this on top, A, B. So line segment A, B. This is how we would do this. Now, one more thing we need to talk about is the idea of some different symbols that are used in geometry. I'm just going to do this on the same screen. Shouldn't take too long. So, this is idea of something called congruent. When something is congruent, again, this is for comparison, and here is the symbol for that. It means that the two shapes that you are dealing with have the exact same shape and size. Exactly the same. They're twins almost, if you will. Exactly the same shape and exactly the same size. So if I say that line segment AB is congruent to line segment you know, CD, if you will, that means they have the exact same shape and the exact same size. In other words, they're both lines and they would have the same length, if you will. All right, that's how that works. Now, another term that we often use is something called similar. And this is kind of a piece that you find in the other one. And similar is this guy right here. In other words, he's a little wavy guy above the equal sign. Similar means the same shape, but they have different sizes. So again, going back to my same example, if I say line segment AB is similar to uh, CD, what I'm telling you is that they are the same shape, but they might be different lengths, if you will. That's kind of what's happening there. And of course, equal means, you know, same value. If you're familiar with the equal sign already, I won't talk about that. So that's pretty much wrapping up this video. So I want to go back and review before I conclude this video. In this video, we talked about points, lines, rays, and line segments. And so when you're dealing with points, you're dealing with something that has no dimensions, no values. It only has a position. We talked about that. When you have an infinite number of points lined up next to each other, you now have a line. And lines go off in either direction for infinity. And the symbols are here on the screen, off to the right, if you can see that. And that's how that works. When two points are on the same line, we consider that to be collinear, as you can see here off to the left. When we're dealing with rays, rays are just like lines, if you will, but they have a specific endpoint that's also called an origin. And it goes off in the infinity in the other direction. So this is an example of a ray. And then also we talked about line segments. Line segments have two endpoints. They have a start and an endpoint, and that is how you are able to have a measurement. So a line segment is a specific finite space, if you will, one in one dimension. And lastly, we talked about some symbols that are commonly used when you're dealing with geometry. Congruent means exactly the same shape and size. Similar means the same shape, but maybe different sizes. That's how that works. So thank you so much for listening. 
I will see you in the next video. My name is Darren Thomas. I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. Take care.